no, that's why I was so self-righteous for so many years. I was the kid who was running after my mother, controlling, drawing little, I drew a caricature of my mother when I was a kid. She was like overweight, her hair's frizzed out, she got a bottle of beer in one hand and cigarettes in the other. And I drew this cartoon and handed it to her and I said, Ma, shape up, you know, come on, get your act together. And she folded it into her wallet and took it with her everywhere. And when she would take me to bars at night when she was hitting on guys, flirting, whatever, hours would go by, I would do my homework there and stuff. She would sometimes take this character out and unfold it and put it in the bar and start crying. And, you know, I felt horrible about it. But I had that impulse to fix and control. And I thought it was her. It was my dad. It was all these other people. They were the ones. And then I repeated that in adulthood, choosing these guys who seemed like they're, they're the ones who are ex-cons. Well, to be open about it, first of all, and absolutely to have a dialogue about it, but also not to be exposed too early. It is extremely potent and it's a wonderful thing. But I was exposed too young because my mother didn't have certain boundaries. And I remember my mother, it was the 70s too, so there was a little bit of that hippie thing, people didn't know, but I remember her gathering my friends around when we were preteens, hey, let's read Playboy, and she would point out, the, you know, and I got overly stimulated and overly sophisticated when I couldn't handle the potency of those images, and I was sexualized. That's... I said I wasn't molested and I feel very grateful for that, but I did experience something called covert incest, which is where the parents are just being inappropriate. They're talking about their relationships, they're having sex in the other room, you hear them, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know? Um, and kids are sexual, okay? But there needed to be more responsibility in her part and more dialogue about it. She wasn't in any place where she would be able to do that, but that's something I would want to do if given the opportunity is to be open about it but also be respectful of what pe kids can handle at what stage so and also not separating out so it's just sex but sex as something sacred sex as something and how does it fit into other ways of relating to people because it's really about this whole culture and, and me as one example running scared completely from really interacting, connecting, and having intimacy with other people and compassion.